Hey, what's going on guys? It's Nick from Nick's Crypto Investments and welcome back to yet another video. Today's video is going to be on Heroes and Villains, which is a spin-off of the Wolf game, a uh, play-to-earn game, NFT game. Uh, but with a slight twist, they've added a sell and buy tax and they're also going to be transitioning into a Titano fork. So we're going to take a look, break down the tokenomics, read over the white paper, kind of get view an overall idea of what this project is. Uh, if you haven't seen James Pelton's video, he actually spoke with the CEO Joker. Um, he's a really nice dude. Uh, so I recommend you go and watch that AMA. It's about, I think, in uh, 45 minutes to an hour long, but it, it, it's a great listen. I recommend that you definitely go and, and check that out. Uh, without with, with, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place. If you guys can't hear it in my voice, I'm a little bit on the congested side, the allergies and uh, the weather change here where I am. You know, you, you kind of get sick a little bit. Uh, quicker where I am and I unfortunately have caught that that bug so I'm a little bit out of it but I'll be fine I wanted to bring this video to you guys in need to get out uh, this project is coming it is not launched as of right now so you can still get in early uh, I'm trying to bring this content early for you uh, but if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you go down below hit that subscribe button hit the like button it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and also hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of my latest videos uh, with all of that said, we're just going to take a quick look over the website, which the artwork on here is absolutely fantastic. It gives me very good comic book vibes, and I love comic books, uh, so that's uh, amazing. Uh, there's 5% villains and 95% hero NFTs. We're going to go over everything, um, but the roadmap is start with the hero and villains fight for the world token, which is the native token. Uh, level up using world and buy NFT boost to earn more world. So pretty much you're going to be earning world. Uh, you use that world to level up your NFTs and you can also buy NFT boosts, uh, which have certain traits within the game. Stage three, you want to save up your world to million world and you can get Excalibur and earn forever. So that's awesome. And then stage four is taking world and becoming a Titano fork with a sustainable APR, uh, which I believe in the white paper it says once all the NFTs have been minted, they will transition over to a fork with an APR or APY that has yet to be announced quite yet. Uh, they go over everything that you need for minting. Uh, the minting is pretty much everything that is the same uh, from the wolf game. Uh, it's random, 5% uh, is villains, 95% are heroes, uh, so there's not much of a difference there other than a buy tax and a sell tax. Uh, so we're going to jump on over here to the white paper. This white paper is very to the point, uh, and, and I like that. Um, I don't like program, um, I mean white papers that kind of just um, hopscotch over questions and answers. I, I don't. I don't like that at all. Um, I think this white paper does a phenomenal job. Um, everything was hand drawn. Uh, all of these NFTs were hand drawn. It took two weeks uh, to get perfect. Uh, it is a wolf game, um, but it's quick to innovate within the NFT space, enabling users to be able to get an intuitive feel for staking as a play to earn game. Uh, without the success of these projects, heroes and villains wouldn't have been found. Uh, it's 100% true. We've seen a lot of spinoffs of Wolf Game uh, with a lot of different tokenomics, right? Um, and a lot of different game theories going on. Uh, so this is just another iteration of that. So we're going to see how that comes out. I know there's a lot of you out there that really enjoy these. And I know there's a lot of you out there that don't really enjoy these. So let me know down below. But I personally try to bring a mix of everything. Right now it's kind of auto stakers and nodes. So I figured I'd throw a little bit of play to earn N auto stake or auto compounding in the mix as well uh, they wanted to bring trust to the community of DeFi and enable newbies or expert investors the ability to play a game where their money is working for them however roi is based on intuition whereby many factors will have influenced how much world and nfts generate this will be adaptable through our uh, through the use of our additional nfts each utilizing the world token to be spent and will provide additional abilities to the user's team. 
So there's going to be different NFT boosts. Uh, they also have a 13% buy tax and 18% sell tax on the world token. This helps with game theory. It also keeps the inflation down uh, and helps the world token become stable. Key factor within this uh, game is the transition to a Titano fork. We are aware that DeFi is ever changing. This ensures we are always focusing on the continuation, uh, continuous in innovation of our project, right? So a lot of projects, they start with something and then they go on to something. Uh, I like that their entire roadmap is laid out from the beginning. Um, well, I'm sure they have ideas after Titano Fork, but that is really far down the road. Um, and I think that what they're focused on is having a successful play to earn game that transitions into a Titano Fork, rewards those that really believe in the project, but will also reward those new investors because Titano Forks, as you know, typically, even if you get in right from the get go or a week later, usually make out pretty well if it's a pretty solid project with a good team. So, and a good community. So if they can build a good community and a, a lot of solid investors, then make the transition, that will be optimal and solid. Uh, they also want to come out uh, and provide an overall sustainable passive income project for investors with a stable APY, but that has not uh, been determined as of right now. Uh, and they want to do this organically and sustainably, which I pretty much just covered. Um, here is a villain summary for lazy villains. Uh, so pretty much world allows the purchase of Gem 1 uh, NFTs and can be used to upgrade heroes or to purchase NFTs to boost attributes of your heroes or villains. Potion NFTs will delay leveling down for two days. So pretty much there's a leveling down attribute uh, where if you don't or are, are not active enough, your, your character will actually level down, which will help with that inflation it'll kind of it's almost like a deflationary mechanism um, but you can also use your world token to not only buy new nfts but you can use it to upgrade your heroes or you can purchase nfts to boost attributes this method rewards active players as they compound and grow their team to the most success the end goal is to get excalibur which costs two million world uh, but choose your purchase uh, carefully as world will be token uh, utilized in our phase two uh, titano fork allowing earning uh, potentially forever uh, so pretty much you can either have two million world token and buy excalibur um, which who knows what's going to go on with that or you can save those two million tokens and have two million world tokens when titano fork comes out so you kind of need to weigh your options i think this is going to be a decision that needs to be determined later on see if the titano fork is happening if there's any errors etc etc um Remember, there will only ever be 2,000 villains and 22,000 heroes. That's 24,000 NFTs. That is it. Um, and then they will go to an auto-compounding rebase token every 30 minutes, which is a Titano fork. Uh, you can mint Gen Zero NFTs and wait for the world to be created. Um, stake your heroes and villains to earn world. Um, mint slash buy uh, Gen 1 NFTs and upgrade their levels using world nfts will be minted with world through adaptive pricing where the amount of world needed to mint fluctuates in contrast with their demand uh, so i think that's really cool that the prices will fluctuate it should help with keeping inflation uh stable as many heroes and villains are minted, NFTs such as potions and power-ups will become available, making the game more competitive. Excalibur, uh, Excalibur uh, will be released for heroes and villains holding 2 million world to earn royalties per NFT sold. So I don't really see Excalibur, honestly, being that important. Um, we've kind of seen um, uh, the U Club or the Underground Club kind of doing the thing with gold. And I don't really think that that's working that well either. So personally, I think I would, if I was to get in this, and I, I probably will because I love the play during games. I mean, I'm most likely going to be getting in it uh, because I love, I love games. Um, and I, I've had a pretty good, um, I've gotten all of my RO, ROI back um, from the Underground Club and from Police and Thief. So I've had no bad interactions with play to earn game so i'll probably try to do my same strategy of just leveling up to a certain amount and then getting my roi out um but 
that's for another video, but I would probably save up my world tokens for the Titano Fork so that I'm pretty much like a whale when it comes out. Um, but that's not financial advice. Make sure you do your own research. I'm not a CPA, okay? This is for entertainment purposes only. I'm just telling you what I would do. Uh, minting heroes, you have a 95% chance to get heroes, and they will start at uh, level 0. You pretty much stake uh, the hero, and you'll get world. Um, once a hero reaches level 100, which seems to be the level cap, you will have access to a private channel. Level 0 fighters earn 500 world per day, and will earn 1,000 world uh, per additional level. Uh, so, you can pretty much see how you can get to 2 million pretty quick, especially if you have a level 100. Um, I can only imagine, you know, I mean, a thousand times 100 levels. I mean, let's do the calculations really quick. Uh, 1,000 uh, times 100, you're you're making, you know, 100,000, you know, a day off of one level 100, you know. So that's, that's literally only 20 days and you got 2 million, so... But we'll have to see. We'll see how, how it all works. Um, if you claim your world, there will be a 20% tax on the accrued amount paid to the villains and a 24-hour cooldown period before you can unstake your NFT. This is uh, so villains get their tax, so I think that's awesome. Uh, unstaking, unstaking is very dangerous, and your heroes might get amb ambushed uh, and 50% chance to be stolen. 50% uh, uh, ch chance to steal all of your unclaimed world. So this is pretty much basic play to earn uh, tokenomics. Uh, villains are able to collect world through hero tax. They earn world through 50% of unstaked heroes and have the ability to kidnap heroes when being minted. So it's pretty much the same as police and thief. Uh, villains have t uh, tiers uh, when being minted ranged from tier 1 to 5, where tier 5 villains have a higher chance of kidnapping a hero and a larger percentage of the claims tax. Uh, there is a 62% chance a tier 5 villain will be able to uh, claim the kidnapped hero, and 38% chance a tier 1 will receive it. Uh, villains are extremely rare. Uh, there is only a 5% chance of minting a villain. Keep your villains safe and hold on to them. They, uh, villains collect 100% on claiming and collect 100% on unstaking. So I think that's awesome as well. Uh, so World is going to be an ERC-20 token on the Avalanche Network. Uh, the World has a buy tax of 13%, uh, which is split 5% to marketing, 5% to liquidity pool, 3% to the dev wallet. This keeps the project running smoothly and strengthens the game progress. Uh, sell tax is 18%, 10% to the liquidity pool. This really helps with building up that liquidity pool before the Titan fork comes out five percent to the marketing and three percent to the dev wallet this encourages spending of the world token and also enables players to strategize how the game is best played uh world will also be used to mint nfts upgrade heroes and mint other valuable nfts to earn so there's going to be a lot of use cases for this token uh world will be the only way for heroes and villains to obtain the exclusive 1000 nft uh excalibur costing 2 million world token most importantly world will become the token utilized in the transition to titano fork so that's insane. I love that. Uh, remember, there's a 3% tax upon buys and sells for the dev wallet, um, but that helps um, with development and furthering innovation. Um, marketing funds will be earned at a constant rate, which will allow for the project to gain a positive brand image throughout the DeFi space. Uh, so I think that's awesome as well. Uh, firstly, we decided to level down heroes as well um, that aren't active um, in other projects have done this, but it's pretty much a deflationary mechanism, um, and they've sped up the leveling uh, down by two days, so if you don't do anything for two days, they level you down. Uh, this is to encourage the game theory rather than dumping for quick ROI. This is balanced within the future use of the world token, where it will be utilized as a titano fork. Secondly, um, they introduced the buy and sell tax, which will also help well, with that um, stability. Uh, so if you combine all that, I think you have an overall solid play to earn game with a smooth transition into Titano Fork because of the liquidity pool being built up. So I'm very interested to see on how this project goes. Uh, I know James Pelton is an advisory for this project. So, I mean, that means something. I gave it a look over and I thought it was amazing. So I'm glad that it was brought to my attention. Um, so that is it for this video, guys. I'm going to be uh, leaving this one here. Um, I might have another video coming up on another pre-sale that you guys might want to get into. Um, but I'm not going to spoil it too, too much. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.